Today we are going to talk about a spiral fit and flare skirt. You can start the flare where you want. You don't have to make a 20 cm flare like I do. Let's design the first line. This line is the beginning of this core. This one. Draw the first line from the right to the left. This is the right side, and this is the right side. Move each line 3 cm further. 3 cm here, and here, here. Now I draw the first gore from here to this point. Make a beautiful round line. We'll cut it out and use it as a model for the next gores. I want to make it a bit more round. You want to know how to draw a line? Just make it beautiful. I'm better with the scissors than with a pencil. The next core goes from this point to this small line. For the lines to be equal, we put the cutout gore here. We have a tuck on the first gore, and the line on the second one should be straight. This is the center front. We'll cut it out and sign. I prefer to design the gores using the basic pattern. We'll sign the first two gores. We know that the flare part will start from this line. Have a look here. I sign the center front. And center front here. We need to stick these two parts together with a duct tape, because the line will end here. So we need to design all the gores this way circle-wise. Then we'll transfer the pattern on the skirt and dab the flare on the fabric. Again, we put the gore here, match the edges and copy the line. We don't need to draw a new line each time. A person can make the same lines. So we use the first gore as a model. We end the line right in this point. I cut from the top. We decided not to show you how I cut out all the eight gores. It would take too long. I signed all the gores. The first one, the second, third, the center front, fourth, the side of the front. We need to attach this small piece to the last gore at the back. Right here. I want to show you once again. This part is the small extra piece from the first gore. We take it and attach it to the last gore. And stick them with a the duct tape. I'll explain everything to you. I want you to understand that we can't make any mistakes when designing such skirt. We can't save a little time neither. Cut all the gores one by one. Let's have a look at the picture. You can see that the last gore at the front side goes to the back, as well as the last gore at the back goes to the front. Sign and enumerate all the details. You should get eight gores. This is the front, 
and this is the back of the skirt. We draw the line just one time, and then we just transfer it to the next course. Just like that. The line should be equal. If we draw each line, they won't be the same. We made a pattern for such a nice spiral fitting flare skirt. Now we need to design the flare. We'll work with each gore to make the skirt fit and flare. That's all for today. Waiting for the next video so you can start making such patterns. Write the comments if you have any questions. We'll try to answer them. In the next video we'll finish this skirt and show you how it looks like. I think a lot of people had such skirts before. Such skirts look very good in the big sizes. It can hide some parts you don't want to show. Do not forget that a skirt is a part of a dress. Attach it to the bodies, anyone you like, see a zipper in, and the dress is ready. I hope you understand that such a complicated skirt, when it's a part of a dress, requires a simple bodice. No ruche, upturns or ruffles needed. That's all for today. Be different. We are Paukshta Irina and Yastri Bafalexi. Subscribe to our channel. Goodbye.